Back in the party, chocolate Barbie waiting on me for yo. In the back is Joe, I ride a shotgun, the driver's unknown. Two wheels, two men, one's getting compact, let's see who gets home. Ski, 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 man, run like I ain't involved. My main bitch is my flick, my side bitch is my stick. SA with that black blade, you have one flick and get dipped. I said, shit. Yeah, I see you over here. Moving and grooving, it is, huh? You don't like the beat. I don't like nothing. I'm just listening to it right now. You heard this before? No. I didn't cut this. I said, it's all over my Facebook on this little short videos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I usually don't watch that. I mean, yeah, I usually don't watch those. That's why I don't want TikTok, because I know that's all TikTok is. Those well, I have videos. TikTok. Do you? Yeah. I watch stuff I'm surprised like. you didn't hear that song. Cause yeah, I watch stuff I like. That probably wouldn't even. Corny people trying to dance to this song. Yeah. No, nah, I wouldn't watch that. But. <laughs> <laughs> Just weird things that occupy my time when I'm trying to do something serious on Facebook, and it catches me off guard, and then I'm down the rabbit hole the whole time, so. Just searching. Hmm. Not mad at you. Not mad What's at up, all. everyone? Welcome to Intoxicated Opinions. Here we are. Uh, we're pretty deep already into this. So, what we got on our Yeah, We just mixing the tonight. master, huh? We got tequila, scotch, and I'm going to do some, some whiskey. Some, some whiskey. Some... Canadian whiskey. Yeah. From Canada. From Canada. <laughs> <laughs> South Park. <laughs> Canadian, eh? <laughs> <laughs> is that show still going? I bet uh, most of the viewers are too young to. You remember South Park? What South Park? But the, I mean, shit. South Park was like edgy. That and Boondocks. And then now it's like Big Big Mouth. It's fucking taking it to the next level. Discrimination. Nah, it's, you ain't never seen Big Mouth? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, man. That motherfucker. You got kids? You watched it recently? Bro, it's a cartoon, animated cartoon, but it's about kids going through puberty. You know you It has adult, like, man. you'd have to watch it to understand. You don't understand. Like Rick and Morty. All right. But worse. What we talking about tonight, my man? Oh, uh, shoot. What we got? Uh, so first, first off, I guess who sacrifices more when choosing a partner? Who sacrifices more? Yeah, who sacrifices more? So, so if I'm choosing a partner, who sacrifices more? Like, who's willing to lower their standards or who's willing to be like, okay, they don't have this, that, and a third that I'm looking for, but they provide this, that, and a third. Hmm. Between a Being girl and a guy, yeah. Yeah. Or a guy and a guy. Or a girl and a well, girl. Well, I'm only speaking men and women because that's all I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. You need to get out and explore. No, I don't. You, you can keep exploring. <laughs> you can keep exploring your uh, options. I guess it depends, man. You know, if if you ask this question to a girl, I bet she'll say, girls sacrifice more. But if you ask the question to men, I bet men say, we sacrifice more. Okay. So I think it's just a different perspective. From my opinion, I'm going to say there's no... Hey, man, one side of my brain says, you remember all those nagging-ass girls? <laughs> so you know you sacrifice them more, and the other side of my brain is, damn, the dog-ass dudes. So I know the women are like. I think this is a multi-layered question. I like that word. I think uh, all in all, to answer the question, women sacrifice more. But I also believe women look for more. Men are simple, so we want less. Like, like you said, you don't want somebody to nag. Some men just don't want somebody with a high body count. Some men want somebody who don't go a out a lot. high body count? Yeah. Break that down. What's that mean? It means if you slept with a lot of guys, a lot of men are not going to value you as much or look at you as marriage materials because you've been used. Would uh, Is that the same with a guy or is that just for... Girl, I think that's girls. just for girls. I think, uh, I you. you know, for a guy, for a regular guy, I don't think they really, most, some don't care for a regular guy. Uh-huh. But like, once you start getting into 
like men with things to lose, men with higher pay wages, uh, they don't want their woman to have been used. They want a woman who's fairly newer, fresher. <laughs> it reminds me Less like a knowledge. meme. It reminds me like a meme of uh When I say that I don't mean like like cause you can have sex every day with one dude and still have a little wear and tear, but once you go going to dude after dude after dude after dude after dude, it's just It feels polluted, right? Right. It doesn't it's feel like, It's like a new car. It's like a car. Uh uh-huh. you know, you can get a car, have one owner, and sometimes maybe the owner did dog it out, but they made sure the the upkeep was there, they made sure that it was okay, that you know, they got everything replaced. Okay. But then you have another car who's the went through owner owner. It's been happened. So the engine that broke down over here, the tires that went warped over here. So you have four different tires over here. It's just like when you break it down in car terminology, it's easy for a man to understand. So you're comparing the vagina with a new car or a used car. I'm comparing a woman, not the vagina. Cause she could be have one dude and he'd be monstrous or he could be small. And you be monsters or you be small. It, that That's not. Okay, okay, okay. That makes we no. We broke that down. All yeah, right. That, that doesn't even matter. What matters is if I go out in public with you, uh, am I going to get laughed at? You can call it my insecurity or whatever. Uh-huh. But most times a man's like, ah, I had that. And move on. Because sex is sex with men. Yeah. Like we don't really prioritize sex and emotions. So how does this. Point to one person sacrificing because usually you know women want a dude with a certain height a dude making a certain amount of money a dude who looks a certain way hair full beard uh career has priorities, a job. goals if he has if he has kids he takes care of his kids and so and men don't care doesn't have a nagging baby mama and men we it's not we just really don't have that many Requirements. Requirements. Like. Most times if you cute or sometimes even if you ugly, but at home you take care of home. You're yeah. a good mother. That outweighs everything. So in that perspective, women sacrifice more because they have a longer list. Right. Of things they need and to that's why off. I say it's multi-layered. So they sacrifice more because they have so many requirements. Uh-huh. They have so many standards that need to be met. Are they realistic? No, not really. Especially for normal women. Like women that don't really make too much working the same job as you and they want a man that's making buku amounts of money is able to take care of. Like they're being unrealistic. But sometimes the average woman... Should we wake these women up? That's, that's not my job. <laughs> That's There's long. a dude on, on YouTube I listened to. I think his name was Kevin. Uh, Kevin Samuels. Yeah. I think. Uh, he tried he, to help him. He tries to help both, though. Like, he wants family structure. If you look at most of his videos and take his content, he wants family structure. And he gives good advice as far as what you're looking for. Right. You can't sit here and say you're looking for a man that makes such and such money, but you're making $20, $17, $15 an hour. Yeah. Like, that doesn't make sense. And then you want to say that you want this extravagant house, this six-figure house. But by yourself, you don't even know how to manage your money. And so the six-figure house that you're looking at by yourself, you'll never be able to accomplish. So That's why you need a man with money. Right. But then you got a man with money. and They don't want that. They want someone no, else. No, they want more. it. But they got to understand that there's a fight for those men. Yeah. So if I'm making a million dollars, if I'm LeBron James and – or not even LeBron James because he make buku money. If just I'm just a regular successful. millionaire uh-huh. and I'm making a lot of money, what do you offer me that I can't go get somewhere else? Yeah. Don't say sex because I can buy prostitutes if I make that much money. I don't have to hear the nag and I don't have to hear nothing. I can hire a maid. Yeah. It's $100 a week to clean up and I can have my meals delivered three times a day. So they got to dig deep to figure out what we offer. Right. They offer. When you go above, I like you. when you go up towards, you know, half a million, million dollars. So maybe the takeaway uh, of the question, who sacrifices more should be uh, who has more boxes on their checklist that are not realistic. And that would be women. 
<laughs> they have a lot of boxes so they, that are it's like a it's like a a notebook. Yeah, it's like like comparing us to uh, where I'm aesthetically a ple- pleasing to a woman. I'm six two, you know, you under six feet. Bro, <laughs> I'm about five ten. If I put on the right Tims, I'm about five eleven. Maybe Listen, I got the majority of my hair, slender, athletic build. Bro, you know. I'm fucking muscular, tatted up with a bald head. I look like Stone Cold. But you're short. So all that goes out the window because, yeah. No, I ain't short. Yeah, you're muscular, but you're short. So it's like a compact size. Um, me. Right here to six <laughs> foot, bro. But, you know, that's what women will base it on. And you could be the greatest dude in the world. Yeah. And I could be the worst dude in the world. But since I'm aesthetically a please, pleasing to a woman, they'll uh-huh. be like, uh, I choose that one over that one. That would never happen. Happens a lot. Let's just take a poll <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> you want this ugly dude? <laughs> what do they want, Big Daddy? I hey, call yourself that. what you want to call yourself. I won't take that poll. I don't want to hurt no feelings. I don't want to get you. I don't mind. Confidence level. I'm up. all for uh, constructive criticism. <sighs> Who sacrifices more when choosing a partner? It's going to be women because in our intoxicated manly opinions, <laughs> women have more requirements. A longer more, list. Yeah. yeah. And men don't. Yeah. Do one or two things and, and, and you're good. So. Listen, as long as you don't have a high body count, you don't like going out, you can clean, you can cook, I'm good. They can't go out? I mean, do I look for a girl that goes out? No. Hey, what I said to the club with my ladies. You said what? Going out to the club with my ladies, you're well, going to say. Like I said, usually I don't worry about that. Uh-huh. You know, she might go to out to eat. Fine. But no, if you're going out to the club, no, I'm good. So when you take your girl. That's my preference. You take your girl to the mall and... Two or three dudes be like, hey, what's up, shorty? You remember me? Then it's a problem, huh? Yeah, because I like to... <laughs> I remember shit. Like, I, I, stuff like that I remember. And so... Why everywhere we go, some guy knows you. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, bro. And then, you know, if she lies about it, I'll be like, you're not being honest. So that's another... So it's honesty. Yeah. So honesty, so not going would, out. She should tell you up front. Hey, yeah. I done slept with... 300 men. Let me make that that judgment. Because I'm going to be honest with you and be like, I slept with a lot of women. Uh-huh. I expect the same in return. Like, I didn't or I did. Yeah. Like, my body count is this or lower. But you're at about eight now, right? Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, I thought, I thought you were. Three. About eight. Three. Three? Yeah, okay. I'm keeping it low. Three. All right, I got you, man. 